How you doing? That's Selection Sunday. And of course, I'm smiling. I'm having a great day because um, Alabama is your 2023 SEC champs, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Um, but that's not the reason why I'm making this video. Of course, I mean, that was expected. <laughs> that blowout well, was expected. Um, uh, Alabama just uh, destroyed them, uh, and it wasn't even close. Uh, and, um, yeah, it was a really good game. That was a really good game. Um, so, I have a question, and this is not, like, anything, like, you know, this is just, I, this is just a question. I, it may be dumb. I don't know. But does a does a player really change a team that much? I mean, does it? Should it? No, it should not. You know, if you're missing one good player, it should not change a team like this. Yeah, sorry, my hair's a mess. Oh, it's getting long and I haven't really fixed it today. But it's fine. Sorry about my hair. But anyway, I'm just looking at it. It does not look awful. But. But. I. I don't know. Is it because Houston isn't really that good? Is it because that Houston isn't really that good? Is it really Marcus Sasser that is bringing this team to where they have been playing? Is it that? Is Houston really that good or is it just Marcus Sasser? I know, you know, I, I, it may be a lot of things. I mean, Kelvin Sampson, um, his twin sister recently passed away. Uh, prayers up to him and his family. Of course, you don't want to see that in sports. You don't want to see that kind of stuff happen in sports. But it does happen. <laughs> and uh, teams, and when it, when it does happen, you have to deal with it. And that's what Houston's dealing with right now. Is it that? I mean, I, 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 you do not, waking up today, here's the myth this, I mean, both teams, both times, each game that earlier this season, really, really good games, Memphis, a really competitive team, Houston, one of the best teams in the country, keyword there, one of the best teams in the country, <laughs> And you know why they're not the best team in the country? Because Alabama took that spot today uh, against a and and they're putting up this performance. That's when Alabama took that spot. So, anyway, I mean, just, just to throw that out there. But, you know, I... What's the, what's the score? 46 to 31? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, Houston? Come on now. Come on now. 46 to 31? You're trailing. 46 to 31 at halftime, and you're considered the best team in the country? Are you kidding me? What a joke. What an absolute joke. Yeah. Am I reading that? Yeah, I'm reading that correctly. 46 31. What a joke. You know, I. That's where that question coming in. You're losing 46 to 31. You were down. 40 to 20 at one point. What is going on with Houston? I mean, are you not even really caring about this game? Is that it? I mean, your player, your best player goes out and you don't really care anymore? Is that is that the issue? My goodness, this is horrible. I, it's pathetic. Absolutely pathetic.
Yes, they're one seed. I'm not saying that. They're a one seed. They played like a one seed all year long. They deserve to be a one seed. But Memphis is absolutely running them out the building in the first half. They got ran out the building. Yes, the Houston Cougars, who, who everybody, not me, but everybody believed that they were the best team in the country and that they cannot be beat. Look at this, 24-18 with 7.50 remaining. It got worse at this point. 26-18, 35-20, 40, 38-20, and now it's 40-20, to 20, and then they uh, uh, lose 46-31. What an embarrassment. And this is why right here that they're not going to make past the Sweet 16. Right here is the reason why. If one player gets you, what player is not going to get you to the national championship? If you're this bad when Marcus Sasser's not in the game, my goodness. They're going to get embarrassed in the tournament. Absolutely embarrassed at one point. They're going to be a one seed. They're going to get embarrassed. If Sasser cannot play, they're going to lose to 16. If they're playing like this against a good Memphis team, I mean, a good Memphis team. Memphis, you know, Memphis is a really good team. Not, I'm not saying that. I don't want to play Memphis. But you barely beat him last week. You had a score buzzer beater to beat him last week. And Marcus Sasser is sitting on the bench. And you're down 15. Pathetic. You know, one... 46, 31. Oh my gosh, guys. If Marcus Sasser can't play, and I mean, they're playing, he has... Uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and with traveling and everything, he has three three days to get. He's not going to be at full strength on full strength on Thursday, even if they play Thursday. Even if they play Friday, which could help them out a little bit. Forty six thirty one. Are you kidding me? My goodness. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Houston is just a decent half. Good American Conference team without uh, Marcus Sasser. There's the third American team. They're not a Big 12 elite team without Marcus Sasser. They played like a Big 12 elite team uh, with Marcus Sasser. They're getting destroyed by a good Memphis team. Not a great Memphis team. A good Memphis team. Getting absolutely destroyed. Blown out. Ran out the building. Embarrassed. Pathetic. Absolute pathetic. I get it. I get it. You guys are hurting. Calvin Sampson is hurting. I get it. And I, again, I I said this earlier. I'm praying for him and his family. You know, that, that's hard to go through. Um, But a player should not be, should not change the team this much. A pathetic first half of performance against a team Who's, who media says cannot be beat. Pathetic. Alabama's going to run you out the building if you play like this next time. Any team will. Any team. Memphis is what? A ninth seed? A ninth seed? At best? Eight, eight seed maybe? With this kind of performance? You better hope they're not in your bracket. You better hope that. They could be in your bracket. It's eligible for them to be in your bracket. And you're if you're playing like this, absolutely pathetic. Selection show coming up at 6.30. Or at 6, about two hours, a little under two hours away. Um, yeah, sorry. They're, they're getting embarrassed on national television. 46.31. Just, just not, not, not embarrassed. 
right this is this is hilarious the fact that they're getting beat like this it's just hilarious i came in trying to throw away my trash or use them out there or something they're down 18 i mean i knew you were losing you weren't losing that bad you were not losing by that bad when I left. I left for two minutes, and you're down 18. You're losing by, like, eight or nine. You got, oh, my gosh. Houston absolutely getting embarrassed. They're not the best team in the country. Marcus Sasser may be a really good player. He's one of the best players in the country. No doubt about it. <laughs> what? Oh, my gosh. Uh, oh, my gosh, guys. Embarrassing. Absolutely embarrassing. Um, yeah. Uh, pathetic performance as we head towards the selection show as the field gets put out. If any good team half good, if Texas or Kansas even, Virginia, if any of those teams are in your bracket, Houston's not going far at all. At all. I, you know, with this performance, I might even have them out of that second round. This is horrible. Pathetic performance. But Alabama is your 2023 SEC champions. Your 2023 NCAA tournament overall one seed. The best team in the nation, Alabama Crimson Tide. Wins and proves that they're the best team. Purdue struggling with Penn State down up only eight. Yeah, no, this game, yeah, no. Alabama's the number one overall seed. And if they aren't, they're robbed. Houston. Forty-six thirty-one. I don't know if that did anything. Forty-six thirty-one. Houston's just a half good defense, good team, physical, good team. Nothing great. Good team. That's all they are. They're nothing elite. Without Sasser, they're nothing elite. Houston. Congratulations on being an okay team. Have a good day. Again, make sure you guys like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, so I'll be continuing to be live throughout the rest of the day through into late tonight. I'll be live breaking down the tournament. We have a few special guests coming up for y'all. Make sure you guys stay tuned. And, um, yeah. He's just a half-decent team, and they're proving that today.